John Calvin on Psalm 115, verses 8 through 11. They that make them are like unto them, so is every one that trusteth in them. O Israel, trust thou in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. Those who make them will be like them, and so will all who trust in them. The reason why God holds images so much in abhorrence appears very plainly from this, that he cannot endure that the worship due to himself should be taken from him and given to them, that the world should acknowledge him to be the sole author of salvation and should ask for and expect from him alone all that is needed is an honor which peculiarly belongs to him. If a man carve an image of marble, wood, or brass, or if he cast one of gold or silver, this of itself would not be so detestable a thing. But when men attempt to attach to God their inventions, and to make him, as it were, descend from heaven, then a pure fiction is substituted in his place. It is very true that God's glory is instantly counterfeited when it is invested with a corruptible form. Nevertheless, he is doubly injured when his truth and grace and power are imagined to be concentrated in idols. To make idols, and then to confide in them, are things which are almost inseparable. Else, whence is it that the world so strongly desires gods of stone, or of wood, or of clay, or of any earthly material, were it not that they believe that God is far from them, until they hold him fixed in them by some bond. Averse to seek God in a spiritual manner, they therefore pull him down from his throne and place him under inanimate things. Thus it comes to pass that they address their supplications to images, because they imagine that in them God's ears and also his eyes and hands are near to them. These two vices can hardly be severed. Those who, in forging idols, change the truth of God into a lie, must also ascribe something of divinity to them. When the prophet says that unbelievers put their trust in idols, his design was to condemn this as the chief and most detestable piece of profanity. <laughs>